Market Board, sponsored by Credit Suisse, follow World Business Report on BBC World. Business News, now on BBC World, with Tanya Beckett and World Business Report. Hoping for a bankruptcy backflip, the former Worldcom goes to court. And debt deadline for Argentina last minute wrangling holds up a critical IMF deal. Hello, welcome to World Business Report. I'm Tanya Beckett. The American telecoms company, which used to be called Worldcom, goes to court today. They say the second half will be dependent on sporting results in the next coming months, but they say first half pre-tax profit, 86, uh, sorry, 85.6 million pounds. So quite a busy day. Back to you. Yes, Julia, it certainly looks that way. Thank you very much indeed for joining us live from the London Stock Exchange. And time now for a look at other world news. Delegates are preparing for the fifth World Trade Organization, an organization ministerial conference, which starts later this week in the Mexican resort of Cancun. Mexico is preparing a massive security operation for the four-day talks involving 20,000 police and military troops. Anti-globalization activists have threatened to derail the trade talks. A massive investment fair in China is expected to attract over 10,000 international visitors. The seventh China International Fair for Investment and Trade Talks takes place today in the Fujian province. The fair is the largest national event in China for international investment promotion. And the world's largest food group is setting out its plans for growth over the next few years. Nestle, the owner of brands such as Nescafe, Kit Kat and Perrier, is quote, moderately optimistic for the second half of the year in its Asian and US markets. But the Swiss company is concerned there won't be a big recovery in Europe. And Germany is pushing ahead with wide-ranging prices and that's delaying improved profits and I will just show you very swiftly what's happening in the foreign exchange markets we've been keeping our eye on the euro dollar rate now uh, just short of the 111 level after dipping for the last couple of weeks biznews at bbc.co.uk is our email address why not use it meanwhile that's all from me I'm Tanya Beckett thanks for joining us on the world business report sport today is next here on BBC World